Final Fantasy XIV has a huge problem with job design. Really? Imagine for a moment that you're a job designer for Final Fantasy XIV. Now, before you go and spend your new game dev riches on that one blow-up doll you've been eyeing for a while, <laughs> let me go over your role real quick. Consider this your orientation of sorts. As a job designer, your goal is to make jobs that not only work well with the existing game mechanics, but also keep players coming back for more. You want a feedback loop that hooks them on dopamine and rewards them for executing simple yet fulfilling mechanics properly. Sounds pretty simple. Simple, right? Yeah, that's the trick like uh, if you want to pull off a good class like you need to find a rotation That's not too simple and not too complex Like if you have a class where literally your rotation is just pressing two buttons. It's shit. It's boring, right? You also don't want to have one where you literally need to line up ten skills to finish your rotation and those ten skills are Maybe some with like a freaking cast time or something like very very annoying Like you need to find a balance between simple and complex to make a class really good, right? So yeah, that's the trick. And by the way, guys, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more MMO content. All right. Wrong. There's still one more thing: the curse of the console. You're designing curse of the controller console. players in mind, and because you want oh, this shit. game to be accessible to as many potential customers as possible, Fewer buttons, that means yeah. jobs with skills that fit on the first hotbar are especially good. That gives you 16 major buttons that you expect to be pressed frequently, and another 16 minor buttons that even a cure one spammer can swap to and use every other minute or so. Any button above this magic number is problematic for job design because. You know what I'm thinking now because of like console and stuff like if World of Warcraft came to console and I know already a couple of class specs that do have quite many skills you need to keep up like you have less buttons on a, on a, on a freaking like controller than you have on the keyboard right so so what is if you can just like you constantly need to press this and that and this and that and this and that on some classes in WoW I feel like this would be so complex if you're playing on a controller WoW like seriously Three hot bars are very annoying to cycle through on controller. Now, because Scholar and Astrologian are suffering from this, eh, you choose to ignore them because they're filthy little healers. Samurai oh yeah, though? Astrologian now controller. A DPS, uh. a big boy job that has way too many minor buttons to fit on the hot bar. So your task is to fix that. Your mind may instantly fly to Guren and Sen'e. Couldn't that simply upgrade into Guren too? A stronger potency AOE with fall off damage? Or heck, you could turn Shoha too into a trait upgrade with the same thing. You could hmm. even make Iki Shoten turn into Ogi Namikiri like you've done with other jobs. Any or all of these changes would be good ones to make. But you remember that you're supposed to simplify gameplay mechanics across the board. After all, that is what you did with Summoner. The numbers show more people play the job now, whereas it was just a niche playstyle before. Players wow. clearly prefer some Seriously? So is that really... Are those numbers accurate? Holy shit! That's a that's a big that's a big increase in active players on the summoner. Style before players clearly prefer simplicity. So let's rethink a bit. Is there anything we could remove that saves buttons and makes things appeal to casual players? Well, that's probably Kaiten, right? When you think about Kaiten. it, it's just an obligatory button you press right before every EI Jutsu. So why not just remove it entirely since it doesn't matter? It won't change the play style and everyone will be happy. Not only that, you're gonna let their big skills crit every single time. Damn, you deserve a raise. Players are gonna love it. Except they don't. You can take off that dumb scap right now because the top <laughs> dev simulator is over. Well, well, we have some well. ASMR. Just look at all of you. You get a glimpse at what healers go through and you just can't handle it. I'm giving you a hard time. Shit sucks. But before I go further into this, I want to let you know a couple of things. One, I'm not complaining that the game itself is too easy. Easy and hard are completely subjective and that's a really pointless argument to have. I am going to talk about the deletion and pruning of job skills that are core to gameplay though, because it is impossible for anyone to understand the thought process behind some of these decisions. So here's the thing, as much as they want to give you the illusion that they're down to earth and not Mark Zuckerberg levels of out of touch, Square oh. Enix is a company. They're here to make a profit. And when they make decisions you That's love or for you all hate, companies it's the always same, done yeah. in the name of the bottom line. Trust me, they're not working on Island Sanctuary just to make me happy. They're doing it so <laughs> I'll get addicted to that and maintain myself. And damn, do they know me well. If the devs could oh, make yeah. more money by making players unhappy, they would. And they have. Why do you think new hairstyles are no longer given to the 
player automatically. Because by getting you to play PvP or run deep dungeons or farm MGP, they're making you engage with game mechanics that could get you hooked on that form of content. Yeah, that's the same with like mounts and stuff, right? Like a lot of MMOs have that, where like there are suddenly like new zones or something and new mounts and they make them crazy grindy. Like World of Warcraft has way too many like of those mounts with like a drop chance sometimes below 1% and stuff. So if like a new zone comes or something, okay, you know what, let's add this mount and players need like months to get it or something. Like they could just give give you a 10 person or 20 person chance and then you kill this this boss, whatever, like this elite, like seven, eight times and you have it, right? But instead, like they do this quite a lot in MMOs, same with like dungeons, achievements. Like we had this even in Elder Scrolls Online with like PvP where they add like some really cool stuff. And in order to get this cool stuff, like like some, some transmog, some glamour, for example, like you have to do certain events, you have to do this and that, or you get some housing items. They even do this with like housing items and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's what they do on purpose, because this keeps the, the players engaged with the game. And they have like a, a goal to strive towards, you could say. And yeah, they just make it more complex so people play the game. If nothing else, they've got you going until you get that item. The reasoning that Kaiten was removed to reduce button bloat is, at best, a half truth. Because Kaiten does require a little decision making. Not oh. a lot. But you'll be punished with not having enough kinky for your EI Jutsu if you go around button mashing Shinten willy nilly. Yeah, Kaiten may have only taken one brain cell to use properly, but the <laughs> difference between using one brain cell and using absolutely no brain cells whatsoever can have a huge effect on job satisfaction. You're stepping not only on muscle memory from dedicated players, but you're removing a fun little wind-up animation that rewards you for proper kinky management by yeah. powering up one of your epic gamer moves. Let's that's me. That's me right now. I'm this kind of player. I love a little bit of complexes. Like, uh, it must be a bit complex, the rotation. Like, I usually pick classes in MMOs that have a bit of a complex rotation. Like, I, I can't stand too simple stuff where I literally just press, like, three, four buttons. Like, it gets boring after a while. Like, I want to be rewarded for being good at my class. So, there, are, like, I give an example. Um, I used to really love Affliction Warlock. There was, like, a time I was so in love with Affliction Warlock in World of Warcraft. And why is that? Because I have to keep up this and that dot. I have to do this and that for maximize, uh, maximize damage, right? So I love this because I know that I'm doing the right thing if my damage gets high. And now there are some classes. It doesn't matter which class. Like, okay, Warrior, for example, right? Like, Warrior is crazy easy in World of Warcraft. And you just press a couple of buttons and you do, like, a lot of damage, right? And Final Fantasy XIV, I feel like Samurai is actually not too tough. Like Ninja, Ninja is... I love Ninja a lot because it's complex. You need to freaking weave signs in the right order to, to cast your OP ninjutsu and stuff. Like I love Ninja because it's complex. To be honest, I think I have like a bit more fun actually on Ninja than Samurai. Because Samurai is cool. Like I love the, the feeling of Samurai. You're like an OP swordsman. It's very cool. But when it comes to rotation, maybe I enjoy like ninja a bit more because it's complex. That's, that's me. I love a bit of more complex rotations. But it feels more rewarding if you master the class than to master something that's very easy to master. It's not to love for a casual either. At best, this decision is neutral. And at worst, you're harming the experience of both casual you don't pay my sub types and hardcore you spreadsheets my or my subs. body logs or my blood types. All at the same time. So while the removal of chitin is pretty bad in my opinion, I think we- You know what you should always say to someone that says you don't pay my sub? But I carry your dungeon. Like, each time they say it, you don't pay my sub, but I carry your dungeon, or I carry your rate. Like, always say that. If you ever get into a group with someone, uh, you don't pay my sub, just tell them, but I carry your dungeon or rate. Just do that. We should have seen this coming. It started with every healer getting reduced to two buttons, and then the highly controversial summoner rework, like it or not. This is the current direction of 14. Jobs will continue to get easier and lose mechanics for as long as Kleenex sees that as the profitable thing to do. And while it will make the game more accessible for a handful of new players, I don't think this is the best strategy long term. I think when the baseline content is very approachable as is, making the jobs very simple as well will eventually put you in a situation 
Genshin where 95% of content is easy to complete and there's no real sense of progression when it comes to improving your own gameplay. Are we at that point yet? For some jobs, hmm. yes. For some jobs, no. Do I think Samurai will still be fun to play? Probably. Do I think losing Kaiten is a big deal? Yes, actually, because take it from a former healer main. <laughs> if taking it away from you makes their job easier, they will absolutely do it. And they won't just stop at Kaiten. After all, Hakuze is make just an obligatory too button you have to press before every GCD combo. Why not just throw complex. it away and let us start combos with Jinpu or Shifu? Or hell, why don't we just throw away Shifu and Hakuze, keep Jinpu, and make that give us both the skill speed and damage buff? Getting wow. Sen would be much faster and way more accessible that way, right? Yeah, simplification can go on and on up until the point that your entire rotation is hitting one single button. It's just a matter oh, of shit. where you draw the line between too much thought to enjoy and too thoughtless to feel satisfied. You and I might draw that line in different places, but make no mistake that there is a line for every person. I just so happen to draw mine at Kaiten. Since myself as a casual samurai and many samurai mains believe it's central to the gameplay loop, it added choice, reward, and punishment to the Kenki Gate. Without it, the Kenki Gate is effectively just the Shinten Gate. And ironically enough, having an entire gate for just one skill with a lackluster animation of scholar <coughs> is bad job design. I'm not trying to... I agree here. Like, imagine, like, your whole offensive skills, like, everything that fills up your gosh. You're only using it for, like, one single skill. Like, what are you building up for then, right? Uh. You know what I like a lot, a lot about, let's say, Red Mage, for example? Like, you fill everything up. Like, you get, like, the, the white magic and the black magic up. And then you actually have a rotation where you actually empty that gosh, right? Like, you have something to empty it on that has, like, a full rotation of multiple skills. But imagine you have just one skill. Like, what if they actually changed Red Mage, where you no longer use, like, like the multiple skills, but you literally just press one skill and everything is gone, and you do one-time big damage. I think this would be way more b boring to me. Yeah. Way, way more boring. Maybe I wouldn't enjoy the, the job anymore be a doomer or make everyone freak out and overreact but the devs have shown a pattern that might not be the absolute best path to take going forward that's all i'm saying i think having easy content and engaging jobs is a good strategy but having easy content and brain dead jobs is uh pretty cringe take it from yeah. someone who could probably apply to be a cringe Just mentor and thing. get approved as for what we can do about this absolutely flooding the official forums did seem to work for getting male viera on board and considering it's just job skill you might not even have to wait over two years to get it basically if you hate this change make it very hard for them to ignore that you hate it that is unfortunately the only advice that i can really give i promise my next video will be a shit post i just had to join the kaiten simp wave this time what's that quote uh, when they came for the healers i said nothing because i was not a healer when they came for the er peers i said nothing because i wasn't an er wait that's not entirely true Where is it going with this? Uh, anyway thanks so much for your understanding i appreciate you very much and i'll see you next week gamers <laughs> that's interesting so, no rap this time again Yo, I miss the, the, the raps of Lucy Pyre. I hope she comes back with some, some new raps or something. <laughs> like, it's always fun to check those out. But yeah, I, I totally agree with, like, when it comes to, like, job design, like, class design and MMOs in general. Especially in, like, Final Fantasy XIV. Don't make stuff too simple, but at the same time, don't make it too complex. Because I, cause I feel sorry for those that, like, play on console with, like, a controller. Like, when I think about, like, World of Warcraft on freaking console, like, I'm like, oh, shit, how do you actually make certain classes like class specs work like how what about like affliction wall what about like shadow priest what about like uh okay hunters maybe maybe hunter can be pulled off on, a on console but there are a couple of of classes that just don't seem to work well <laughs> or, or like like she pointed out i think astrologian on on, on console is like really tough to play on the controller right because on astrologian you you, ha you do have like multiple st skills you need to uh, maintain and stuff right because not only are you healing you're also buffing your party members with cards and stuff and you're also dealing that you're doing like three things so you're using quite many uh, skills on astrologian but that's why i love astrologian i think ninja is pretty fun to play i love astrologian i also love machinist because i think machinist also has like quite many things to manage right so yeah those are like my classes that i like really enjoy in final fantasy 14.
Yeah, but being a job designer is a tough job as a dev, like seriously. Because you want to make your, your customers happy. Like you want to deliver a very cool class, especially if like a new class comes out. Like now we have like Reaper, we have Sage, right? And I feel like they did quite a good job with those two. I think they are very fun, right? Like some of my friends, they are like maining it now and they look nice. Like Sage, who they have some cool animations too, like Sage, Reaper, oh shit. I think they did so well with those two new jobs. What do you guys think about the two new jobs? Let me know in the comment section and... Yeah, what do you guys think overall about job design? Are you happy with the way the classes are in Final Fantasy XIV? Do you love the new summoner? To be honest, I'm recently playing the new summoner and I'm having a blast on it. Yeah, sure, it's like more simple now, but I think it's it's quite fun. They didn't make it too simple at least. <laughs> and yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. And I would also really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. And I will see you guys next time.